Kerosene, an innovative alternative for woven furs, merging tissue engineering and design practices. In 2017, scientists from Kanagawa and Okayawa, Japan, cultivated hair follicle germs that grew without skin. Between 2008 and 2018, the number of Americans that believe in equal rights for animals and humans nearly doubled. Along with the increase of support in animal rights, studies from 2015 through 2016 claim that consumers are willing to pay more for social responsibility. These circumstances, as well as a passion for ethical material production, inspired the first successful wool follicle in a microfluidic system. Scientists from this project patented this method and founded Dermawool, a company focused on bringing this material into mass production. They named this material kerosynth in hopes that their method of production will be used to produce other types of animal hair in the future. In 2023, Dermawool files an innovation patent for their innovations in production methods. These innovations include 3D printing PDMS microfluidics, growing colored wool, and producing different types of wool. These innovations and production methods impressed the organizations AFOA, Fair Trade, and Stray Dog Capital. AFOA and Stray Dog Capital decide to invest in Dermawool. Dermawool inspires Fair Trade to expand its certification past food and makeup. Kerosynth makes its high fashion debut in various fall winter 2028 collections throughout Fashion Week. In turn, Time Magazine features a kerosynth garment on the front cover, titling Kerosynth, The Next Big Thing. Ten years after the U.S. Navy completed their transition to a nylon parka for their sailor uniform, they announced their decision to return to the iconic wool peacoat using derma wool as their supplier. 2030 marks the year that middle-class consumers grow to three times their size worldwide. Coincidentally, middle-class consumers make up the demand for socially responsible products. In response, Derma Wool expedites efforts to produce a more ethical source in Kerosene's microfluidic system and PDMS sustainability. Derma Wool expands its consumer market through the premiere of different grades of wool, as well as Kerosene-based accessories and furniture. In 2040, Derma Wool renews their patent and introduces licensing as an option for companies. As a result, a resurgence of interest in Kerosene's potential application occurs. Companies receive licensing and apply the methods laid out in Dermawold's patent to investigate growing extinct furs and other animal-based fibers. Between 2042 and 2050, certain licensing from Dermawold goes into effect which allows for more cost-effective contracts for nonprofit and education-based organizations. These organizations lay the groundwork for care synth-based community centers and school programs to occur. Under the license, Companies that are for profit allocate funds for community based outreach. Inspectors that monitor derma wool spaces inspect other spaces that start utilizing their technology as well as train their successors. With the growing concerns of ethical conditions for workers and lab safety, derma wool employs inspectors that regulate these spaces that aren't necessarily regulated by the FTC and government. Kerosynth based inspector training, as well as training for its production, enters the trade school education model and becomes an opportunity available to upper-level high school students. Students can apply their tissue engineering skills to other disciplines. With the community models and educational investments, further experimentation and application becomes more accessible beyond the privileged population of the past.